By 146 BC, Rome had conquered Greece, and in the years that followed, Rome would gradually absorb the entire Greek world. Because their empire was so vast and their wealth so great, many Roman citizens had a great deal of free time. They didn't have to spend many hours each day growing or gathering food or earning money to pay for their food. As a result, they were a society that loved many forms of entertainment. Greek-style theater was only one of many forms of entertainment that the Romans regularly produced. The Romans enjoyed performances of short comedies, similar to our sitcoms. Athletic events, music and dance, trained animal shows, chariot races, and circus performers, such as jugglers and tumblers. Of the different full-length plays produced by the Romans, the comedies were much more popular than the tragedies. The titles of many Roman plays were recorded in government and festival records, but few of that large number survive. Of the known tragedies, all but one is by a playwright named Seneca, 5 BC to 65 AD. Nine of his plays survive. Of these, the best are The Trojan Women, Medea, Oedipus, and Agamemnon, all of which are based on Greek plays. The comedy scripts that have survived are either by Titus Plautus, 254 BC to 184 BC, or Publius Terentius Afer, who is known to us today as Terence, 190 BC to 159 BC. Most of the surviving Roman plays are based upon plots of Greek plays. This practice of borrowing the main ideas and characters from plays written in earlier periods is a practice which we see repeated by many famous playwrights throughout history. For example, the Roman Menechmai was Shakespeare's source for the Comedy of Errors, one of his most popular scripts today. But the Roman writers did more than copy the Greeks' ideas. They made some important changes in dramatic form. They eliminated the chorus and added music to underscore the dialogue, rather like a movie soundtrack does today. Unlike the Greeks who restricted the number of actors in each play, the Romans did not limit their writers to any set number of performers. The stage setting for Roman comedy was always the same. City street, regardless of the play being produced. The backdrop, a permanent stone structure known as the Scene Frons, always represented the front of several houses in which there were doorways. These doorways represented the households of the main characters of the play and served as entrances and exits. For a tragedy, this same structure would represent a palace or temple. The Romans will always be remembered as great engineers and architects. Their strong sense of design is reflected in their theater buildings, which were unified, freestanding structures several stories in height. These buildings were unlike the Greek theater buildings, which were built on hillsides to utilize the natural slope of the ground for better audience visibility.